obviously, I know uh, uh, you dated Johnny Nitro, John Hennigan, for many years. I, I always felt that, you know, you just look at the dude and you think... That I mean, it maybe wasn't like fantastic like the interviews, but like for everything else, he seems to be the total package. I mean, he looked like a god that dude, and he still looks great. How come no companies like ever like fully got behind him, like as like a main event star kind of thing? Because it's like WWE would do it for a bit and then they pull back and the same thing. I don't get it. I don't know. I always feel like um, when it comes to uh, certain companies. I mean, you could work with the person as much as you can with ideas and everything. And I guess if uh, a talent has ideas and then a company has ideas and they're not seeing on the same eye to eye level, like they're not on the same page, it just they feel like they kind of give up because they're not seeing each other's perspective. And maybe that could be the case um, that what the company would want and what the talent envisions just doesn't match up and then they they think okay kind of like relationship where you know we're just not see, we're not seeing eye to eye and we maybe we should just call it quits type of deal mm. i have no idea but i do think that if it was up to me the way people are written when it comes to talent like writing um storylines and everything if you watch them you see what they're capable of you see what their character is why not start there instead of trying to take a person and change them into something they're not? What were they trying to change Johnny into then? I have no idea. I really don't know. I kind of feel like I have no concept. And maybe that was the problem. Like, we have no concept of what they want. And we try to ask oh. or it just doesn't come across when, when you ask sometimes. Like, I hear people sometimes and they have great stories of yeah, I had a great relationship and they explained everything to me. And, you know, we had, we were able to talk every week and I'm thinking that's not every person that that's not the case for everybody when it comes to storylines and their position in the company. Sometimes it's just difficult to talk to them. So I am not sure John's relationship, cause I wasn't like always around him all the time. So maybe he did have conversations. He was always proactive, but I just think, how can you not have, I cannot write a story for a person like him. Mm. Uh, so but he, then a lot you... of people during that era, there's a lot of people during that era, they missed the boat on too. And it's, that's kind of why I don't watch a lot of wrestling because you see the talent and you know, they're not doing what they should with each individual. Mm. And it's frustrating. If I look back during my era, it's like the crazy storylines and like great talent, which they put out there, but they didn't do anything with. So People want to get behind them, but they couldn't because you just threw them out there to do a couple of tag teams and then nothing. It's so sad. So did you uh, never, uh, you or Johnny, never really try and be political in the sense, that, you know, ingrati ingratiate yourself into the office, you know, go to the agents more or even, you, you know, more of the office like that to sort of push ideas for yourselves? I think he did. He was more, he was more proactive. He was really um, good at interacting. So that's why I don't know, because I'm always always such an introvert. I didn't know how to do that. And I felt like, okay, in my mind, it was about the work. Like, well, if I work hard and, you know, my mind, I didn't know at that time. I was very, I, my understanding was different because I was very sheltered or naive. That's what it was. I was very naive. So my understanding back then was like, well, it's the hard work. It's they see what I did and I get rewarded by since they know what I do, what I'm capable of. They give me title runs. They have me work with different people because they know I could get the job done and it's an honor. So in my mind, I thought, OK, like they see. So that was my mentality then. But for him, he was he was proactive in in conversation. But I was never good at it. I was like, oh, I'll just be out in the stands. Yeah. <laughs> 